Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with the ESNE. In this video segment, we will go over downloading and uploading with Studio 5000 Logics Designer software, as well as the mode switch properties using a compact Guard Logics PAC. Before we jump into our content, ESNE offers online training through YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for how to applications and other automation content. Once your project is configured, the next step is to transfer it from your computer to the PLC. For all Rockwell software, downloads will compile the project file or the ACD from the computer and download it into the controller. This action will erase everything that is in the controller and load it with what you have on the PC. It will also break all other forms of communications until the download is complete. The opposite is when you do not have the project and you want to create the project from using what is stored in the controller. A upload is taking the information that is already inside the controller and bringing it to your PC. To ensure that you have the most recent copy of a project, you will always want to upload. Now, to be able to download to a controller, the mode selector switch must be in an appropriate position. The mode selector switch has three different positions. The three positions are program, run, and remote. Program mode stops the controller from executing the logic and allows downloads, but it is also necessary when flashing firmware or writing to non-volatile memory. Run mode allows the controller to execute the code but prevents any editing or downloads. The third and default position is remote, which allows the software to take control remotely. This allows you to download, make online edits, but still has the controller executing the logic. When in remote, you have to ensure that you do not put the controller in remote program when the machine is running because it will stop executing the code. When in remote, you can make online edits, which is a feature that can be very powerful. It allows you to make changes to the logic without stopping the process. You can see the green power flow of your code, then make a modification, compile, and test those edits to verify that they worked as anticipated, then store them into the controller. If they do not work, you can cancel the edits which will revert back to previously executing code. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.